All right, let's crank this beast and get it in the shop. Well, let's see what we got in here. You say 73 model? 73. He said it's either 73 or 72 from a Camaro. Nice. So that make this a 350? Maybe. Uh, she's got the small block Chevrolet nonetheless. Um, it looks kind of stockish to me. Like the <clears throat> there's no big indicators on the front of the cylinder head that says it's like the the two camera humps or the shark fins on the like a vortex head. Okay. The balancer kind of looks like a 350 balancer. Like the 400 balancers have a cutout on them, <clears throat> and then the, I think the 305s have like a really a little bit bigger balancer. 350s in the middle, and then the 400 has a cutout. I've already looked at this one. I couldn't see it, so it's it's probably a 350. Okay. We'll see if we can run some numbers on the block or something. Uh, big Edelbrock carburetor that does this little trick when you mash the gas. Yeah. When you let off, it doesn't let off, so you have to manually pull it back because uh -huh. this cable is not great. <clears throat> it does have an HEI distributor though. That's like 1973 and after uh, GM stuff because it's an all-in-one. You got the coil on top. Distributor cap rotor button all that the modulator or the modules built into the bottom of it So literally the only thing going to this distributor is one power wire one power wire So, so that's the entire ignition system right there. So ignition on Power goes to that's that it. and that's it. That's it. And then nice. from there it picks up its own. Well, that's that'll make it easy Yep, so we'll have to do a lot of rewiring here to make it safe and uh, yeah figure out what all this stuff does All right, so other than that not much to it. I mean no you know, you see the power steering pump, it doesn't have. Mm -hmm. No power steering pump. Air conditioner, it doesn't have. No air conditioning. No smog pump. No. Be problematic in California, I guess. Are these headers anything special? I don't think so. They've got that center exit like a lot of models the Corvette had, but I don't think they're anything. So I, I couldn't imagine, they're manifolds anyway, so I couldn't imagine any manifold being special. Nope. Got good brakes. Uh, yeah, definitely needs brakes. Yeah, something we need to look at and see what all it needs. Yep. So, missing the front line. Yeah, I think we need a good look in there. A little low on fluid. Yeah, I think just topping it off with fluid yeah. should, should get us back on the road. <laughs> He's not Maybe fluid. a little anti corrosion <laughs> cream fluid. in there. Alright, so we definitely need a master cylinder. Yeah. Bluetooth front brakes, though. <laughs> yeah, no line. Yep, no leaks, no lines, no problem. Alright, so that line goes down. Goes down. Right yeah, here. all the way down. Okay, yeah. Look at the axle. See if you can see the axle down there. Actually, it's right here. It's on the frame. Yep. Let's see this on the frame. Mm -hmm. Yep. So that's where the brake line goes, and it's not. There's no lines. So we need new lines, new master cylinder. Um, we'll have to get in there to see what else underneath. Uh, let's see. Definitely needs a lot of wiring. Probably just make a whole custom body harness, replace all those wires. It's got this uh, anti kink device on the rad hose. Nice. I like that on the upper too. You would think the upper would be the the pressurized part, I guess. With it <clears throat> should be pulling out of the bottom and refilling through the top, but mm -hmm. I guess they've had problems with it. Does this, does this have a spring in it too? No. No, it shouldn't. I'm afraid to squeeze it, it might break. <laughs> I probably need to do it anyway. Any surprises in here? It says never open with hey, it won't open. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's, uh, mm -hmm. it's perfect. It's good and dry in there. Luckily, that's the same color as a lot of those uh, pour-in radiator stop leaks. Okay. So that suggests that it's... 
this comes factory with the Chevrolet 350, right? Well, with the dirt? Yeah, the dirt <laughs> and the rust. <laughs> yeah, you get the corrosion, no extra charge. It does look like it's either had stop leak in it or dirt. Dirt. Like maybe they just put dirt in it. I don't know if it's dirt or if it's rust. Yeah. But Could be both. Toyota radiator, maybe? I mean, it, it seems to fit the window, so I don't have to look. It's had a patch job there. Yeah. We'll it's got sure. these good mounts, too. I love the mounts. They're custom. Yep. Oh, you oh. Went to cap. Yeah. Right. Get a new cap mount. Yeah, it's got the tanks on top and bottom, not the sides, and that's why I was asking if maybe it was still a Toyota tank, because that's really common. Top and bottom? Mm hmm. Versus the Chevrolets are typically side to side instead of top to bottom. Okay. Yep. A lot of Bluetooth wiring harness. Like you Definitely. Said. There's more over here. I'm not sure where any of these wires go. The uh, the body. It's a fiberglass body, and you can see it's mm -hmm. held on in the vicinity of the rest of the truck. Oaks and greens. Kind of vaguely there. That's what the wiring is for. It's to hold the to hold the body on. The yeah. wiring holds the body together. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, is that like a transmission cooler? I, I believe so, yeah. It would be, I guess you could use it for transmission or if you wanted a power steering cooler. I don't think this one's capable of that. Or a uh, dirt dauber cooler. I, yeah, it's it's comes with a dirt dauber nest in there. Yep. There's several of those. There's a fresh one on the back of this engine. You see that? Sweet. Oh, wow. Big dirt dauber nest. Can you get a screwdriver and bust it off of there? <clears throat> Barking spider nest in here. Cable's actually returning good enough? today. Well, I, I worked it a little bit, so maybe just re lubing it. Yeah. This big yeah it's big enough. Alright, you ready? Okay. I'll sit back here away from the dirt dog. Okay. Oh! Darning? I'll call the cop. <laughs> <laughs> I think the dirt dauber's coming up somewhere. And we'll quilt the activity. Really understandable. Well, I'm wrecking their house. All right, we're gonna leave that alone. It's got a little bit of a belt squeak too. Yeah, you might need a new belt. It's got a great belt on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everything's gonna need to be replaced. Yep. It should, uh, should have a little more traction. Fan's good it. and free. That means it's good. <laughs> free flowing fan. Kind of like your, uh, your tire tread. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tire's in great shape. Yep. Cast iron intake manifold, which means two things. It's really heavy, probably doesn't move a lot of air. Mm. Probably stock. Okay. I think this might actually like a just a GM. I don't know if you can get like a cast iron performance manifold. I don't imagine why you could. It's definitely an old school engine. Okay. At the perimeter bolt valve covers, that's 1986 and before, I believe. 87 and up has the hold down bolts down the center. Pretty basic, and we haven't ran it longer than a minute or two, so we haven't really idled it, so we can't hear if it's got any lopy idle or anything cool. Like maybe it's got a cam. No, we've got to fix the coolant situation before we do that. Yep. You know, since this radiator is not mounted to anything, we could put like a, a Chevy style radiator on it. Mm -hmm. Something out of a Camaro or a truck or something. And uh, just do the upper and lower hoses off the same vehicle because there's a lot of Chevrolets that have this, uh, what I'd call a driver's side exit thermostat housing. Okay. And then all of the water pumps are the same configuration where they're passenger side down. Right. We got plenty of room, so we could just find something that's readily available and affordable. You sure. know, something that's kind of common. So just get the dimensions and find yeah. something close. And somebody wants to buy it and has a problem ten years from now with the radiator, they can just go get something simple. Yeah, I probably need to make a list of everything since it's a uh, half Chevy, half Toyota. Need to uh, make a list of what what's going in in case some things have to be replaced in the future. 